Welcome to Best Buy New Invention Gadgets Today video about Galaxy S21 FE 5G. The premium feel begins with the packaging, which is a small, slim box similar to that of the phone's siblings. A phone, a USB Type-C to Type-C cable, and a SIM eject tool are all included. The box, like last year's FE models, lacks a power adapter in modern flagship fashion. The Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G has a shape cut plan for the camera module, very much like the Galaxy S21 series, yet this piece is worked from plastic rather than metal and isn't an expansion of the edge. The backboard is additionally plastic however the display gets Gorilla Glass Victus for better scratch insurance. The metal casing feels strong, and you'll observe the power and volume buttons on the right, and the USB port and double SIM plate on the base. There's no earphone jack. The Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G does not significantly improve upon the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G in terms of features, as the previous phone was already loaded with them. Instead, some evolutionary changes such as design and society are made. A large and bright 6.4-inch AMOLED display with a 120 Hz refresh rate graces the front of the phone. All sides of the display are flat, and the bezels are slim. In the cutout, there's a 32-megapixel selfie camera and an optical fingerprint sensor embedded in the display. In the short time I've had it, the display has impressed me with its vibrant colors and clarity. The fingerprint sensor is also good, and the high refresh rate makes the experience feel quick. With a thickness of 7.9 mm and a weight of 177G, the Galaxy S21 FE 5G is significantly lighter than the Galaxy S20 FE 5G, which weighs 190G. The graphite color unit I have is a little dull, but there are brighter shades like olive, lavender, and white available. The phone comes in two storage options, 128GB and 256GB, both of which have the same 8GB of RAM. The SIM tray, however, is not the hybrid type that we saw in the Galaxy S20 FE 5G, so you won't be able to expand the internal storage. The society will be the next significant change. The Exynos 2100 chip in the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G is the same as in the company's flagship S21 series. We were hoping to see the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 Society in the Indian variant of this phone, as it is in some of the global variants, and especially since the Snapdragon 865 Society was used in the Galaxy S20 FE 5G. The Galaxy S21 FE 5G inherits a lot of the features from the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G. There are stereo speakers, Samsung Pay with NFC, and wireless DeX mode, as well as an IP68 dust and water resistance rating. It also has the same 4500 mAh battery, as well as 25W fast charging. 15W wireless charging, and reverse wireless charging. The Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G comes pre-installed with One UI 4, which is based on Android 12. Small changes have been made to the interface and menus in the new version, but it still looks and feels like the old one. The three rear cameras on the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G are identical to those on the Galaxy S20 FE 5G. A 12 megapixel primary sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, and an 8 megapixel telephoto sensor with 3x optical zoom are included. Although there is still much testing to be done, the cameras appear to be quite capable so far. At first glance, 
the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G doesn't appear to be a significant upgrade over its predecessor. And the only significant differences I've noticed so far are the design and the society. It's also a little disappointing that microSD card support has been removed. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.